let me talk about support vector machine tonight more specifically support vector regression this is the data set that will fit our models this data set is obtained from sklearns website we have the python code prepared from the sklearns website so let me run through the code so once i run through the entire code it will give me the data point with three types of regression model this is the output from the python code let me explain from the spider id we import the libraries we import the data set the question is how to fit the model so that the estimated model will predict the data points accurately in this data set we can see if we fit a straight line it will miss so many points if we fit a line like this some sort of spline it will accurately predict most of the data points in this code we are fitting three regression models one is radius basis function another one is linear regression and another one is polynomial and after fitting the model we will predict the data points if we run these lines of code it will give us the estimated values with linear model in the linear model we can see this is the fitted line and it misinterprets so many data points right so this is not a good model we can't use this if we run the polynomial model it will give us this type of output this is not okay as well okay let me with the radial basis function from support vector regression this is our estimated model so you can see and we agree on this point of view that this particular model will mostly predict the data points accurate so let me give you a quick review we have our data points and we always try to estimate the data points truly or correctly with the linear regression we are not getting good estimation with polynomial regression we are not getting corrected values as well with the radial basis function it is predicting the data points more accurately compared to linear model or polynomial models so for our case for this particular data points radial basis function is the best model so far